Okay, we have the Whirlpool Top Loader WTW4616FW. Today we're going to do the drain and spin cycle. We're going to spin this phone book right here. This is a hardback phone book from 2009. Uh, it's not my biggest one, but it should be sufficient for the test. Uh, this it's about a you know 1200 1200 page notebook uh, phone book. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Drop this in here. Okay, so let's look at the control panel. All right, so if you just want to do a drain and spin, which we're, that's what we're going to do, we, we'll select it right here. If you want to do a rinse and spin, you can come back over here and select rinse and spin. But I don't want the book to get uh, to get wet, so we'll go here to drain and spin. Now, sometimes uh, if it doesn't like the the uh, the balance then it will add water and try to redistribute the clothes but uh, uh, we've seen that on the other washers I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll do it on this one or not so let's go ahead and get this thing uh, started here let me see if I can turn this on okay it's on right there so it's gonna, the door's gonna lock and it's gonna sense okay Pumping out the water. Okay, so I think we're okay with this. Uh, it did a good job. So if we, if we want to pause this or if you want to turn it off, you can just uh, go here, hit this button. Not bad. Okay, when this thing slows down, we're going to put the little bit bigger foam back in there. Okay, so we got that. As soon as it stops for safety reasons, okay, we're good. Alright, so. Let's compare the two phone books. Let me turn the autofocus on so we can get a good. Oops. Okay. So the the one at the bottom here was the one we used, and this one's bigger for sure. <clears throat> All right. So this this one. It's about 200 pages bigger, so it's about well, I said about 1,500 pages. So let's go ahead and drop this one in like that. I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit because uh, there might be too much for it to handle. So we're tripod is off of the uh, pretty far away from it. So let's go ahead and hit start.
ولا بعد That's maximum speed. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this down. Okay, yeah, I turned it off. I think it did better than the uh, GE that we did a while back. Um, a lot, a lot of it has to do with the tub, uh, di um, I guess, diameter. It's, uh, you know, it's not as wide as the GE. So on the GE washer, there's actually less space between the outer drum and the and the the wall of the washing machine. So uh, this one has, you know, a little bit more room to give. Uh, you can, you know, you can move the tub around before it starts hitting the wall pretty far. So right there, it hits this side, hits that side. It does hit forward and back too. But it's just a little bit more room to give compared to the GE top loader. Now, in most cases, you're not going to do this, so it really doesn't matter. But in case of extreme unbalanced load, uh, this is a little bit better. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.